Hi everyone, it's Raja and Aquaria, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo Review. So Aquaria, how has the road been for you? Oh my god, uh, super crazy, super fun. I've been touring all over the world mm -hmm. in places that I don't even know where they are that I could have never dreamed of. Uh, being able to perform and it's awesome. But now um, you do. But can. yes, I do. Uh, we're on the Work the World like 24-7 if I'm not touring individually. Y'all can go to worktheworld.com to get your tickets to that. I'll be at the shows in Europe. I have the most fun uh, traveling around with the girls, so. And so much European. So much. What are we doing today, Aquaria? The theme on the runway is angelic white and in honor of the Lady Bunny funeral roast and uh, the complete antithesis of angels, we have gone as horny little dark devils. Devil bunnies. This is actually something I would wear to Lady Bunny's funeral. Yeah, absolutely. I would do this with bells on. Yeah, but I would wear a big smile, like just joy that she's dead. Absolutely. <laughs> like that. Yeah, this hello. He's dead. <laughs> Ding dong. Speed round, Lady Bunny's funeral roast. Uh, let's start with our first girl and we have to the stage, Mona. Monet is giving you the only dark church lady mm -hmm. I love. Yeah. Um, looks nice, body's cute. On brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I could see Monet going to Bunny's funeral with this. And uh, I, I love the bright smile. Yes. Let you know that she's happy to be there. Precisely. <laughs> and uh, I like it. I I think this is uh this this look is very much Monet and I very think. funeral appropriate. Very appropriate. She's got a pearl necklace. Yes. Always love a pearl necklace. Mm. I say two. I say it's a two. Next lady we have Trinity the Tuck. Oh, you know what I. I live. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got like an Airte kind of feel to it. It's very, very, like it's, it has a vintage feel to it. And I like that wide black fur collar. I mean, know? this is just, it just screams like very expensive, very like well detailed and thought out. You can tell that she brought this, if, the, if they had to do a funeral runway, she was gonna win this one. Yes. If she was gonna do a funeral challenge. She had the right outfit for that, so. She I, is a grieving widow and she is getting a huge inheritance apparently. From Look Lady Bunny? Not from Bunny, but something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she looks like this lady that used to go to my church when I was a kid. Her name was Siska. Siska. And she would wear outfits like that to church and she would like really cause a stir every time Ayo she walked Siska. in. Yep. And uh, Siska also had a lesbian daughter, so she was a very con She's giving me uh, Siska. Okay, so yeah. let's give that a, 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 a Siska toot. A Siska toot, honey. Siska toot, babe. Yes, I've been there. My goodness. Yes, next we have Monique Hart. What is she? Help, the, help me. This, this is supposed to be a roast, so hopefully this is like a, a comedic take okay. on a, on a uh, monk type. Monk? Or like, what would <laughs> like you say? Reverend. What? Oh, a, reverend. a reverend. Yeah, a reverend. She, she is she is very well versed in the in the liturgy, and uh, I guess she's like really channeling that. I'm not sure. how I think she... it looks hideous, but I'm sure it's probably hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that outfit is irreverent to me, so I'm gonna give this one a boot. Um. I'm gonna boot it for the fashion, toot it for probably, it's one of the funnier ones. Probably. But you gotta choose one, honey. Is it a two? All right, boot? well then we're gonna, we're gonna boot it today. Next we have Naomi Smalls. Naomi Smalls oh. looking a little under, under, under attired for a funeral, but perfectly attired for the, uh, the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Clearly she was a uh, bunny side bitch, because that is a side bitch look. Oh my God, absolutely. It's a complete mood. Um, I love it. I think she looks sexy. It's I would totally love to her filler lips. Oh my, very juicy, oh, so plump juicy. little pillows. Mm. I love it, I think yeah. it's gorgeous, it's glamorous, yeah. it's fabulous, hopefully there's great comedy with it, and I give it a two. Oh, who doesn't love black ostrich? Hello. Yeah. What kind of sound does an ostrich make? I think, yeah. like, they make like, That sounds more like a velociraptor. Oh, you would know. <laughs> Welcome to Toot and Boot Aquaria. The Woo! Is that shape? Oh, I tooted that. It's I, a two. I tooted. I tooted. House down really two through. We have Valentina. Valentina. I love this. She's gorgeous. She's sculpted. Uh -huh. uh, she's stunning. She's very glamorous. She's grieving. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the dress. I love the opera length leather gloves. I love everything. The white shades kind of throws me off. I just wish that there was like a little bit more of a black maybe, or something. Or red. Yeah. 
But I do but like the, the way with the blonde hair, the, the sculpted blonde hair is really pretty for this choice as well. That's true. It's a slight disconnect, but you know what? I will overlook it. I'm totally fine with it. Valentina is a stunner, and that dress is amazing. Mm hmm Two. 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 Two, two, two. Next, we have Manila uh, Luzon. Now, we've seen uh, a uh, umbrella mm -hmm. kind of moment on this runway before, but right. I love this different take as more of a veil right. instead of the fringe. I think this is gorgeous, giving me very Madonna. I love it. But check out the umbrella, too. The umbrella itself is special. Oh, it's gorgeous. Like, if you look at the, the ridges on it, it's and got the one of those points like... on it, and the and the a veil that's covering it is beautiful. I love the combination of black and red together. That's always a, a success and for me. And it's properly to... scattered from head to toe as right. well. So it, Good it, pairing. I love black lace. Um, I'm going to give this a two. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Two, Definitely. two, two. Speed round over. Let's go right to the runway. The theme was angelic white. Let's bring on our first girl, and she is Monia. Monet is giving us papal, papal, please. Papal, papal, please. Please, quiet down. She uh, is looking like the only pope. Yes, she is. Love a this makeup. Woman. Mm -hmm. Love the detailing on this outfit. Lots of appliques, lots of cool textures. Mm -hmm. Head to toe, it's great. And I she love also. It. Uh, she was bringing it to the runway today because not only did she have this look that we're seeing, but we also have one with a giant oh, little cloak that she walks out with. It, yes. Well, I love a good train. You know what? This train is going to get a chugga chugga toot toot. Yeah. Yes, chugga chugga toot toot it is. I love it. I think she looks fantastic. It fits her beautifully. She looks amazing. Yeah. And I mean, if you're going to go for angelic, you know, why not? Uh, why not? And cosplay the Pope. Yeah. Next, we have Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Well, I personally love it. Again, ostrich is there. It's, it's probably the best feather. I also um, love the, the mixing of the feathers in the headpiece. Uh -huh. that, that little moment on both of the sides is really fun. Right. Love the circular, just simple metal halo. Yeah. It's just a mix of tons of great textures and, and stylistic elements. Yeah. Um, I feel like the shoe, too, is a very confident one for a queen because I know personally that I could never wear just a little single spindly little strap yeah. over my witch hands. Yeah. That's what Manila calls my feet. Oh, witch my hands. <laughs> yeah. That's, to, to me, I got to give her kudos to, to for wearing those shoes because her toes look lovely. lovely. Yeah. It's, and, it's gorgeous and it's, it's very, like, Greek goddess, but sure. not too Greek, you know? Yeah. Because you know what? All angels are Greek or something. Yeah. All dogs go to heaven, and they make it. And they meet a Greek angel. <gasps> Rip Marley and me. <laughs> All right, I give it a two. Rent Marley and me. Rip Mar Rest in peace. <laughs> Not rent. Blockbuster's dead too. R.I.P. Blockbuster. No, I love this look. I think Trinity looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and so I give it a two. It's a two for me. To the stage, ladies and gentlemen, we have. The heart of Money Kart. All Stars 4. I love this as um, a step up to her feather runway that she did on season 10. This is so much cooler. Um, I don't even know if those are real feathers or like plastic pieces. It's like vinyl or something. But it's it's very different. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. The body looks so glowing. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. I love the whole thing. I love the whole thing. It's very, very cool. It's like if uh, Josephine Baker were to model in an Alexander McQueen show. Yes. If that were ever possible. Oh my I God. I love that. I love everything about it. I love the, the sleek skirt, you know, contrasted with all the texture and busyness of the, of the bodice and top. I love it. I think Monique looks beautiful. Um, I give this one a toot. Yeah, I love the armor element mixed mm -hmm. with the feathers. It's a toot for me. Next we have ah, Naomi Smalls. Oh my God. Naomi Smalls coming out with only the best references oh this God. season. Looking oh, absolutely yeah. stunning. 319, knock, knock, knock. Answer the door because it's Naomi Smalls. Yes, she is giving us princess tonight, yes. ladies and gentlemen. What a clever and iconic reference. I yeah. love this so much. I love it because it is within her style and brand with the lace and ruffles. The cute curly 
Yeah. Pompadour. And you know what? I grew up with Prince, so I, I'd always wondered how straight people were always so willing to accept all of his drag. Right. Without, they just kind of like overlooked it. They're like, of course he's got makeup on. Yeah. And a pompadour and high heels, and he's doing the splits. Like straight pick and choose. He was the first person I ever seen do a death drop and splits in all in all oh in one God. performance. I, like Prince is an icon. So pretty. Love it paired with the um, the creepy little girl sock. But this is. Somehow very right because of the ruffles. Um, what's more angelic than a dove? And this is just fabulous for me. I love the reference. I love Toot. it. It's all like all the doves are crying right now. They're crying te tears of happiness. Purple tears of happiness. Oh my god. Toot. Next we have Valentina. Valentina. Yes. She has given you a, a, a feathery f frock. Sure. Well. Yeah, frock. It's frock and gorgeous, is what it is. Yeah, it is. I oh love. I love that the you know the feathers are heavy at the bottom and you know evaporate into the top. I don't think evaporates the word, but y'all know what I mean. Evaporate. Why not? Yeah. Let's. Oh, talk the rope about is rope. crystal. Oh, the well, rope. that even changes it even more. I love the the knotting. That's mm -hmm. really cool and and gives the body a cool shape. It's but so naughty. She's a naughty girl tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it's like <laughs> Naughty Pine. I love this. I love the rope element. I love the feathers in it. I love the little close like Marcel wave. So stunning. This mm. dress is like unbelievable. Like bondage, gorgeous bondage. Yeah. But make it fashion. Yeah, a, a, a bound bird is very cute. And, I, and if this crystal pops like I think it does mm -hmm. with her, mm -hmm. this is probably so incredible to see. So I give it a toot. Mm -hmm. Toot for me too. And the body's always right. Yeah. Last but not least, Manila Luzon. Yes, this is giving me very season five promo, RuPaul. Mm -hmm. um, mm, yes. Very Greek goddess. Mm -hmm. uh, Manila only does good drag in yeah. my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the little Cherub. the little cherubs. Yeah. Oh, the, I mean, there's the, the elements of this. I love the metal. The um, the hardware is really cool. Um, it's a little straightforward mm -hmm. to me personally, mm -hmm. but. I give it a toot. You give it a toot. Yeah, I love it. I love all the little details. I loved. Uh, I love the the metallic brass. I love the cherubs around the waist. I like all those little, those little slight tones of you know fresco Italian Vatican. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna give this look a two. A two for me too. Trend alert. Feathers. Feathers. Plumes. Fluffy stuff. Ostrich. Turkey. Chicken. Okay, feathers. Our, Our top, top two, two of the, the week, week is Monet, Monet Exchange. Exchange. We okay. love how grand she is. Yes. She is giving us so much glamour and we love it. It was a tough decision because everyone is really bringing it. This was an exceptional stars. runway. So many cool choices, mm -hmm. so many cool designs. Yeah. Um, and so. definitely compared to the level of work uh, on season 10, this is just beyond. Yeah. These uh, bitches and, are and not f***ing around. Turn it up. They showed up with looks, and it's been really hard to just kind of boot anybody. Everyone's doing great. Tune into VH1 Fridays for a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All, All Stars, Stars Season Four. 4. Click the link below to see if All Stars 4 is available in your territory on WOW Presents Plus. She's a super queen. Purple Tears of Happiness.